So hey guys, I want to show you this tutorial on how to install Dart Jar files on your Chromebook. It's a quite simple, easy process, but well, it does come with a few costs, and you also need Linux installed. So first, you need many labor, many labor, and just. In case to, you need to install these two commands. So first, we have used this command before, probably in like one video. So sudo apt dash get install. But first, let's just make sure that we let's just make sure that everything's up to date. So do sudo apt dash get update. It's gonna do its job, and so that means it's probably fully updated. The sudo apt dash get upgrade. And yes, I know I haven't posted most much of these coding videos or like tutorials on my current book, so that's why I'm back. My animating idea wasn't gonna be good because it's gonna take me forever to animate things, so I'm coming back to you. So after this is done, you can just do three things. Um, I'm surprised that actually needs to upgrade. So I just installed Linux like yesterday. So I'm going to just pause it until it's done. Okay, so once it's done installing the update and upgrade thing, we need to start menu library. Of course, all these are scripts. All these uh, commands will be in the description. So next, you need to do sudo apt dash get uh, install. Then we need many labor first. This may not work, so I already have it. See, many labor is already the newest version. That means it's already installed. Now you need to run this. So let's clear it just for more space. And then sudo, you know what? Oops. Oh, there you go. So then sudo vpt dash get install. This is a Java package because jars are made from Java. So you need to do sudo apt dash get install. That's going to install it. Then we need default. That's either JDK or J R E. It doesn't really matter. I usually do J R E. So hit enter. And since I already have it installed, it's done. So for now, you can just close out of this. Then now you need to open up your file system. And then you need to install the Dart Jar video thing. So for today, I'm going to use just this basic op. Uh, to find dot jar this is for minecraft it just makes things run faster i just gonna use this as an ex example for now so downloads then i'm gonna hit download it's gonna quickly do its add thing skip and then download since i already have it installed to, uh whoops uh, i'll just open up my file system i put the file inside here so all you have to do is just drag this inside your Linux files. Then you can exit out of here and open up the terminal. Terminal. Whatever. Uh inside here. Now open up Penguin. And then sudo. You need to run this. Java dash jar. Then op. Then you can just hit tab to do it and hit enter. And this jar doesn't matter. You can use another one. Um, see, it says it's running right here. I have to find HD Ultra HNR for Minecraft 1.92.2. This installer, blah, blah blah. You just can hit install. But if you don't have Minecraft, there's no point. You need a real config to use this just because it just does it. So I'm going to hit cancel. It's going to crash. Then here, oh, whoops. I don't know why I did that. So here. The next thing you can do, I'm gonna find another .jar file just for you guys to use. But basically, if you have another thing you can do, 
That's uh, sure. It has to be Java dash J. If isn't that, it won't work. So Optify. If you don't want to type the whole thing, you can tap it, or you could rename it when you're done. So you just do that. It's Java dash J. And um, if you want, so I'm gonna find a pretty good source for you to find dot jar files. You can use this for coding. For if you're gonna use, if you're gonna watch my coding tutorials, and you want to use like some Java things and whatever. You can use this, and this command, so Java, this you can use like for good things. Um, I don't really use Java that much, so uh, I am still learning it. So I'm going to pause and find another dot .jar and do the whole process again. So I found another dot .jar file, so all you have to do the same process to get it ready. So you open up your file system, I put it inside here. And just drag this, so just and put it inside your Linux files. So put it in, and just double check if it's in here. If it isn't, then that means it probably is a wrong folder. So you can just close out of here, open up your terminal, terminal, hit Penguin, and then let's do it again. So you have Java installed, and you know. What if you want to make an application for it as well? That's why we installed Menu Libre. So, Menu Libre, simple command, you know how to use it. So, we're just going to install this quickly. Alright, it's going to run quickly. Since it's just easy, since it's not really important, I'll put it in the game section. So, click on the folder, the drop down, and hit the plus, then add launcher. Then you can name it, test jar and this is a command part to run it when you press it so since it's a jar file we need dot java dash jar and then the name so i'm pretty sure it's test dot jar you can save this and it'll do that and then you can double check by opening up your launcher there test jar i'll show you how to uninstall it after this just in case if you don't want it. So um, I can close out of this, it'll just terminate. And you can clear. Now if I press it, I just installed it, so I don't really know what it does. It's just a simple drive file. Yeah, it doesn't really do much. If I do Java dash jar test that jar. Huh? Maybe. I probably spelled it wrong. Oh, it's lowercase t. Java dash dash jar. Yeah, no main manifest. Yeah, it's just a simple jar file, so it doesn't really do much. You can close out of this. So, so what if you wanted to actually? Uninstall it because, like, this was only a test. This was only a test, and I don't think I'll want it anymore. So, you go here into your Linux files, and you see this is all our files just test out John off the fine. That's not the only thing we have. If we press, I'm pretty sure here, show hidden files. Yeah, there's a bunch of hidden files, but I don't, we don't really need them all. So you can just do that. Now you want to search it and just type in Mini Libre. Then all of our Mini Libre things. So we have two tests on drives. You need to select these both and delete them. So delete and delete. Now if you just refresh it, then go into Linux files. Money Libre. Yeah, it's only this. Now, let's just double check if it's gone. Bam! That's how you delete Money Libre items. I hope you found this video like, really helpful. If you need to use the .jar files just to code, do you can find you can use it for like many things. If there's like installation things you want to do with it .jar. 
you can do that. I can also show you how to do install things like Python packages and all that. I'm pretty sure I mod the one video, maybe my friend Kong if I showed you one module. I'm pretty sure it was only the turtle module I used. But I don't think I had to install it in the console. So if you have any more suggestions or anything you do want, you can just type it inside the comments in this video. Like again, all of the commands are inside the description. So I hope this helped. I hope this was good. And if there were some flaws, some mistakes with all those pros out there, please just type it in the comments just to give me a heads up. So.